it started in a dark place. There were those who believed it started with a big bang and those who believed it started with a word from the lips of one man, but the truth was, it started underground. It started the way all things start to grow. It started in a dark place in the harsh depths of winter. It started with a seed bomb. It started under the ground, in the graves of Palestinians, in the rubble that remained of a town, in the eyes of a woman covered by a burqa. It started in a dark place. It started on the skin of children that laboured in sweatshops, raked through landfills, mined for cobalt. It started in slums, without sunlight. It started in a dark place. It started in the guts of fish suffocated by plastic, in the last gasps of the polar bear, in the horn of a rhino prized by poachers. It started when sea levels rose, when the earth was quaking and people fled their homes amid floods and droughts and hurricanes. It started in a dark place. It started underground. It started in tower blocks, in tenements and homeless shelters, hobbit holes and squats with windows, boarded curtains closed. It started in a dark place. It started underground. In tunnels dug to protest the cutting of trees and the laying of pipelines. It started with campaigns and petitions, with banners and parades. It started on Facebook pages. It started a community of strangers. It started in student bars and warehouse parties. At campfires when guitars were passed around. It started with conversation. It started with education. It started with meditation. It started the way all things start to grow. It started with slowing down. It started with stopping. It started when we stopped pushing forward and pulled back into the earth. It started a cycle of rebirth when the trees had shed their leaves and people stopped believing in eternal growth. It started with letting go of greed, with letting there be winter so that seeds could sprout again. It started in a dark place. It started in barren soil in former carbon sinks where forests were clear felled. It started in arid desert scrub where nomads dwelled. It started in the ears of those who could hear the whispers of water. It started with stories told to their daughters. It started with listening to the moon. It started in silence. It started in unspoken dialects. It started without violence. It started with a vision. It started when mankind was asleep. It started creeping into dream time and wrapping round our feet with the tenacity of bindweed. It started to unite us, to rewrite the pathology learned in our childhood. It started a new mythology, a new awareness that the biosphere is shared. People started to care. They started to look for solutions. It started a revolution. It ended pollution. End of depression, end of the perception that human nature's cruel and survival of the fittest meant every man for himself. It ended poverty and wealth. It ended war. There were those who believed it would end with a big bang and those who believed there was no end to the damage done by man. But the truth was, it ended the way it all began. It shrank back into the earth, fertilised the soil, it prepared the ground for the future. It ended the way all things ceased to grow. <laughs>